Welcome to Turnright Machine Works. My name is Keith. I had pulled this video some time ago from my collection uh, due to the nonsense created by AdSense in YouTube. And it was all about the background music playing in, the, in my shop at the time I'm performing my work. Let's get on to the video here. You see me attaching a aluminum bracket and a fan to the other side of the plate and this is going to be the top of the computer console that controls the plasma can. And I'm using a, a full size shop vac filter because then I can change this out and it can, it, it'll still have its uses in the regular shop vac and I'm always constantly capable of keeping a nice clean brand new filter to draw in the air and feed the computer system uh, that I plan on having in the shop. A lot of time I'm asked, hey, how come you built the cabinet for your computer in the shop? And that's because I told myself that I would not have a computer in the shop until I knew that I was able to give it a deserving environment. Uh, to just buy a, a piece of equipment and throw it out there and, and within months days, years, whatever it, whatever the life expectancy would be, why not build something to give it just that much more life expectancy and to keep it usable and clean and, and functioning well and and that was all, all about going ahead and just respecting the computer itself. This is a round base that gives the centering and the height needed to uh, set up the the monitor that I want to view in the top section here and the little lip that's raised up there keeps the base and keeps the monitor from sliding side by side or forward and back while I'm moving the console around if I want to wheel or move the console while it's in the shop And you can see that it is pretty well centered there and nice air clearance all the way around. And I still have clearance to go underneath all my low overhead in, in the, uh, the one wooden floored area of my shop if I need to. Now we've got all the electrical hooked up and I'm test running all the systems right now. Uh, including the uh, the new Wi-Fi wire that I put up through the top and, uh, and then I have the the front speakers the keyboard the wireless mouse keyboard all these kind of things I'm uh, I'm hooking up and testing at this time I uh, still not sure where I'm actually gonna put the power cord and and the uh, surge bar and everything else and I was thinking about mounting up on the side but it never did it ended up going down in the lower cabinet uh, later on and uh, I was pointing out in this video at this time I was pointing out the screw holes and being able to hold the wire connectors and, and neaten up the whole system in there and also even the the oblong tubes were able to go ahead and and let me use the the passage to put the um, monitor wiring through with the big oblong fittings on the end of it. Uh, here comes my favorite part. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm testing out the internet capabilities and uh, you know I got the wireless uh, keyboard in here now. I had this inside when, when I was running but I wanted to bring out the old one. Uh, whenever you're hooking up things you need to be uh, wired in hard and so I got this all set up and the wireless mouse here as well uh, this thing is really a pretty quick uh, wireless mouse and of course you have to have a transmitter uh, for these items and I was kind of testing those within the metal housing and stuff and, and they're working out fine well it finally became that day the day to assemble my plasma cam I think it was probably the most enjoyable day that I ever had a project to put together. I had my computer console put together and the computer in it and I had been listening and watching the the video 
manual that comes with your plasma cam and it completely explains how to put it together and how to get it square and how to mount it solid and and all all the the, the neat things and, and simple it, it's not it's not real hard but you do have to go through the steps and following these steps step by step with the computer playing right in the console as I'm putting this thing together I'm able to go ahead and do a professional easy no stress assembling of my plasma cam and I was it was a nice day you can see I had the door open and and I put the drop cloth down because I was gonna be down on my knees and then kinda of moving around and I didn't wanna you know I mean I wanna use my plasma cam but I didn't wanna scratch it on the first day so you know was <laughs> uh, the grates were a little tricky but they they really popped in and when they were complete they really made the whole table and getting the first couple in there was just a little tricky because then you got to each one has got to go in and set until you come all the way across and you you put in that lower level all the way across and that one top one is actually holding it and here's the very last one going in and I mean it's it's exact science if you want to call it that uh, um, the the parts are ultimately cut out with precision uh, processes and they just fit right in there and I you have you have uh, eight eight pieces connecting with with each strip in a crisscross and it has to fit and line up a hundred percent and then it just it just pops right in there and then the table starts getting really strong because now we're cross grid with one more set of of uh, components to the table now you know a lot of people really downgrade the the plasma cam uh, thinking that it's not a substantial table and holding the weight and stuff like that but when you really put one together the way it's supposed to and you anchor it down and level it out to the floor exactly the way you're supposed to the thing is pretty hard to beat and it does hold the load that's capable of being put on the table and I've had some I've had some pretty thick material on mine and if you can set it down on top of it uh, I the thing can handle all the way up to one inch thickness so I wouldn't you know I'm not going to cut anything more than one inch thickness on my table but if I had a larger amperage power supply you know I could probably try to go ahead and cut a thicker piece but <clears throat> in my realm uh, you know I average half inch three eighths sometimes three quarters a lot of quarter a lot of eighth and I, I do a fair amount of one sixteenth thickness on on my machine, and uh, I have no no problems with any of those. And you know, I spend a lot of time watching a lot of other YouTube videos on how people put their plasma cam together, and how it was running, and the hydrocarbons flying all over the place, and the sparks all across the floor and I paid attention to that and those are the kind of things I was thinking about while I was putting my plasma cam together from the time that my plasma cam hit the floor in my shop in the box I think it was five months uh, that I had everything else completed including my water tray my down draft suction the computer console and everything before I even struck an arc with it of course I was putting it together in between my other daily uh, projects and stuff like that that I do for other customers in my shop well I was able to put the plasma cam together in one day and also initiate the seat license into the computer and hook it up to the controller and start my original or the first test that plasma cam wants you to do with the table and that is to locate home base or full back with your carriage and, and gantry 
to the home position is what they call it and make sure that it is repeating so <clears throat> it it was late into the night and it was after dinner sometime but I had a full day and this was real rewarding even if it was just moving the thing around and controlling it uh, manually and being real happy with the results I had at the end. Things repeating. Excellent. First test. Okay, so now that I have uh, my table done and it's operating, it's a race to get the cabinet done because, of course, I want to make sure that the cabinet is sealed up and the computer's not going to be damaged. You know, I, it, when I wasn't doing fitting and stuff like that, I had uh, a drapery uh, cover all the way over my, my console there until I could get uh, the opening completely sealed up. So... I'm doing the fit up on the doors. I want doors that actually close and that will seal off that lower section and still leave the pull out for the keyboard. So I'm real happy with the way that the doors snap in and everything's all stainless steel hardware. And uh, so now I start cutting out things by hand. And actually everything that I did for the plasma cam, console and everything, was all hand done. Lots of times I get, hey, what would you ever do without it? Well, I would go back to the way I've cut out before. And you can see that I did have a lot of control with my plasma cutting in what I call a freehand mode, even though I'm using uh, accessories to guide my torch. And it still takes a, a lot of planning and setup and this is uh, guidance in straight lines and this is how I did straight line cutting. Surprising a little bit of support and uh, you can you can increase your feeds and speeds just like uh, the torch is being automated and uh, you can you can get a pretty steady line. Uh, you know you can do some nice cutting by hand. A little bit of time setting up and uh, you get to the end and your parts fall out. You know, this really was a, a, a key video in the construction of my plasma cam, showing some of the, the details of the cabinet itself and actually assembling the main frame of the plasma cam. And I'm glad to get it back up online and uh, I'll let you see how much attention I was giving to setting up my system instead of just assembling and plugging it in and blowing off all the important stuff in creating a, a good running system. Now here's something that I noticed while I was watching this and <clears throat> when you're manual cutting you cut the outside first and then the inside and when you cut on the plasma cam you cut out your insides and then you cut out your outside to keep your parts uniform with both cuts.